All right, looks like we've got kind of an active day expected here for tomorrow, especially during the afternoon and evening hours where we're expecting some heavy rain and some gusty winds as a front makes its way through the region. We got an alert day in effect here due to perhaps maybe the evening could be being a little delayed at times as a result of some of that heavy rain and also the gusty winds. Uh, but that's really about it with this particular system as it pushes on through. Nothing that we haven't seen before, but just a bit inconvenient for some of you out there here for tomorrow afternoon and evening. First alert Doppler radar tracking a few shots. Hours across our area. I want to take your attention off towards the north. Well, we've been watching these what we call elevated thunderstorms, and we elevated meaning that they're not based near the ground. They're actually several thousand feet up, at least the bases of them. And a lot of times these will produce some small hail, but we'll be watching these as they develop a little bit farther towards the south. You can see the southern extent here, and a few of them are trying to get going here through parts of western Howard County. As they track north and east towards Baltimore, we'll see if they do start to develop a little bit more and perhaps produce a few rumbles of thunder and some uh, flashes of lightning. And uh, other than that, though, we don't expect it to be anything too significant here overnight tonight. So therefore, there is a chance for a few showers and storms overnight tonight as that band starts to lift northward. Now, the better chance for rain tomorrow will come during the afternoon and evening as that front approaches our area. Now, on either side of that, we're going to have gusty winds to deal with. Those winds gusting 35 to 45 miles an hour at times, maybe even occasionally up to 50 for the wind advisory area. That's really going to be from Wednesday evening through overnight tomorrow night and into Thursday morning. Coming out of the south first, and then when the front moves through, the winds are going to shift out of the northwest and bring some colder air into the region. Look at these temperatures right now. We're at 62 at the Inner Harbor, 56 for Towson, Ellicott City at 57 degrees, and across the area over on the eastern shore, upper 50s out towards the Delaware border and then getting all the way out west towards Frederick County and Washington County. We're looking at temperatures into the mid 50s there. So staying mild overnight tonight. Chances for rain will start ramping up here by tomorrow afternoon and evening. I would say as early as three or four o'clock, then continuing through the evening rush hour as this storm system begins pushing its way towards our area. Now there's been severe weather breaking out all evening long from the Quad Cities through Chicago and now approaching parts of southern lower Michigan. Tornado watch now in effect from the Cincinnati area back south and westward through Louisville and into southeast Missouri. And it's these storms that are going to develop here over the next several hours that will eventually push their way towards western Maryland early tomorrow morning. As Futurecast shows, that's kind of the edge of them as they move in tomorrow morning. Notice here in the Baltimore area, just a couple of light showers. I think the heaviest storms tomorrow morning will be west and north of our area. Then as the afternoon progresses, here comes the Cold front. Notice the timeline here. Right around four or five o'clock in the evening is when we expect the heaviest storms to move through. By six, seven o'clock, they're going to move off pretty quickly. So the eastern shore could still see some storms here by seven, eight o'clock. But all of this will be wrapping up and it's going to turn breezy and colder behind this front as it moves through. Temperatures are going to be about 30 to 35 degrees colder between tomorrow afternoon and then when you wake up early on Thursday morning. So again, 8 to noon, scattered showers started to turn breezy, breezy to windy, noon to 4 p.m. Rain coverage will increase from west to east, soaking rain from 4 to 8 o'clock, potential some, for some rumbles of thunder. Right now, we're not expecting any severe weather. And then from 8 to midnight, that's when the temperatures are really going to start dropping behind this front. And then we're going to see those winds continue to gust out of the northwest this time, though, 35, 40, maybe up to 50 miles an hour. So therefore, that alert day for tomorrow is mainly going to be during the afternoon and evening hours for the evening commute. We'll likely drop it here by 7, 8 o'clock as looks like the biggest threat overnight, Wednesday into Thursday morning, will be the gusty winds, turning much colder down to 30 for Thursday morning and then upper 20s for Friday morning, warming back up into the 60s, though, by the weekend. Right back to you. All right, Derek, thank you for more first alert weather and updated news. Check in with Cena Gabber at Tim Williams and Meg McNamara tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4.30 a.m.